talked about negative feedback so much that it's time to talk about positive feedback. You remember, in my last video, I said that for every negative comment, you need five positive ones in order to keep the relationship stable. But what is a good positive feedback like? First, please be sincere. Only say something if you really mean it. Children under the age of seven believe the praise without questioning the sincerity of it. But children after seven years of age already start questioning, you know, what is the hidden motivation behind it? Was I really that good that I deserve that praise? So be sincere. Number two, no labeling, no judging. You might remember when uh, I talked about negative feedback, okay, you don't want to, to label the person, but it's true also for positive feedback because you can lock the person into a status. Let me give you an example. A teacher or a parent might say to a kid, you are a math genius. It sounds pretty good, but just imagine that if someone says you're this or that, puts a label on you, you will want to keep that status. You don't want to risk losing it. So for example, you might not go for a challenge. You might not want to solve a difficult problem later because you don't want to risk losing the status. So no labeling the person, no judging. Instead of that, what we should do instead is we should describe the concrete activity. We should act like a, like a sportscaster uh, watching the replay and we should focus on, on the process, okay? What we see, we should highlight what we like about this person's activity, specifically focusing on the effort, focusing on the perseverance. So with the math example, you might say, I know that this problem set was more difficult than the previous ones. And there was a point where you almost gave up, but I, I liked it so much that you just kept on doing it and eventually you found the solution. So instead of labeling, just focus on the process. If you want more information about, about this subject, I highly recommend the, the studies by Carol Dweck, psychologist at Stanford University, who, who studied the different mindsets that actually contribute to how we relate to learning, to, to progress. And what you want to really do with your positive feedback is you want to inspire the person to, to grow, to learn, to take a risk, to, to even fail if, if, uh, if, it, if it's the case. So good luck, praise, but praise well.